Hi, good evening and welcome back to my channel. Tonight, I will be teaching you to set up a dual display monitor using a same graphics card. From our earlier video, I teach you how to set up a dual display using an integrated graphics card from RX 580 plus in Intel HD graphics. So, let's start. So, what we'll be needing again is a pair of VGA cable. I have a VGA cable with a HDMI adapter. So, it is a VGA to H... Uh, VGA to DVI adapter, sorry. Then, I have a GTX 1050. So, I have a uh, <coughs> HDMI port and a DBI port what we need to do is to install the graphic card first then again I'm using a GTX 1050 and I need to download the drivers but I already download this on NVIDIA website so that won't be necessary So in my case, I will install my graphics driver. So what we need to do is to plug in this DVI adapter directly to the graphics card itself. So from our last video, uh, I connected the VGA cable to my onboard device on its motherboard. Nvidia graphics driver and add, agree and continue then click next then wait until it's finished installing Now it's done, so let's restart it first.
So after installation, we need to plug the DVI to my graphics card. So then after I plug in, as you can see, it already display. But if you want to change the settings, there's a common option on this. Go to display settings, then click to multiple display. You can e either duplicate this display or extend it this display. So let's see what will happen if we duplicate this display. As you can see, it already duplicated. But the problem is, the resolution that I'm having is only 1366. It, it's just copy the resolution of my my secondary monitor in 1366 resolution only. When I do this, 1920 to 1080, that's a bad display. So it must, uh, I do not recommend using extended. Uh, a duplicate display on different size of monitor so in my case I will be using extend display only then keep changes so the reason why uh, I am using from my last video an integrated graphics card and a dedicated because when I stream uh, I am having an experience when playing and streaming uh, kind of stuttering and drop frames so if you have a low specs unit uh, the option to do this is to use your integrated graphics card then plus dedicated graphics card on gaming then use the integrated graphics card on streaming on this case you can do this also but there is a risk uh, if you have a low quality uh, low brand uh, low model of graphics card uh, it may possibly possibly <coughs> experience some flickering so i suggest if you use any gtx 1050 ti gtx 1060 uh, 1080 1080 ti it would be better if you use this but in this case you can do this also but limit the workload using your graphics card so that's it so thank you for watching and if you like this video uh, please click the like button if you have any uh, questions just comment below as you can see I already installed my GTX 1050 so that's it thank you for watching again see you on my next video